How's it going, Google Maps platform developers? Today, I want to tell you about the Geocoding API. The Geocoding API is a service that provides geocoding and reverse geocoding of addresses. But my fourth grade teacher taught me that you should never use a word in that word's definition. So allow me to briefly explain geocoding. Geocoding is the process of converting addresses, like a street address, into geographic coordinates, like latitude and longitude. When using Google Maps Platform, some common uses of geocodes are to place markers on a map or center a map at a precise location. Reverse geocoding is, naturally, the reverse. It's the process of converting geographic coordinates into a human-readable address. This can be useful for a lot of things. For example, let's say you know a user's latitude and longitude coordinates because they've given you permission to access their geolocation. Using reverse geolocation, you can convert that into a human-readable address or a business or a place name to make the information more useful when displayed. So the geocoding API lets you convert addresses to coordinates and coordinates to addresses. You can also use the geocoding API to find the address for a given place ID returned by the places API. You access the geocoding API through an HTTP interface. But geocoding is also available as part of the client-side Google Maps JavaScript API as well as for server-side use with the Java, Python, Go, and Node.js utility libraries available in the Google Maps org on GitHub at the link below. First, I want to focus on accessing the geocoding API via HTTP request. Let's look at examples of geocoding and reverse geocoding requests. If you want to try the examples for yourself, you'll need an API key. Find out how to generate your API key in the Geocast episode how to generate and restrict API keys for Google Maps Platform, which I've linked below. Now, here is a request for the geocoding API. This address is 1600 Amphitheater Parkway, Mountain View, California, and slash JSON specifies that the output must be in JSON format. Notice that you include your API key as well. I can test this by entering the URL into my web browser. You can see here that the response includes the latitude and longitude of the address. Now, Let's look at a reverse geocoding example. This URL requests the address corresponding to a given latitude and longitude in Brooklyn, New York, USA. It specifies that the output must be in JSON format, just like our geocoding example. When I enter the URL in my browser, the response includes a human-readable address for the latitude and longitude location. Notice also that the result includes properties that give you the fully formatted address in the formatted address property as well as the address broken into the components in the address components array. And there you have it. You can now easily make requests to geocode and reverse geocode using the geocoding API. For more information on geocoding with the REST API or client SDKs, check out the documentation linked below. Thanks for watching.